Thyma have asked me to review yet another one of their products. So today we're going to be checking out a little remote control jet ski. Alright, those of you that have been around my channel for a little bit, remember that this company here sent me the, uh, the drone, the one that would do th uh, 360 flips in the air. That thing was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I gave it away to somebody. Um, but they liked the video enough, they asked me to come back and review another one of their products. So we're going to go ahead and open it up, check it out, and we're going to go ahead and give you an open, honest review of this product. And I've said it before in my other videos, as a veteran of the United States Army, I take my word to the people very seriously. So if this thing is junk, I'll let you know. And if it's fun, I'll let you know as well. So, we got a little basic instructions here. Okay. So, check that out. It's a pretty good size. Um, ah, look at that. Steering wheel turns. Um, okay, so stuff I've read online. Uh, before I open this up basically as a safety measure these propellers will not spin outside of the water because they want to be they want this to be safe for kids and they don't want kids getting hurt by these propellers are not super sharp but they they do have a little bit of a you know a little bit of an edge there that might be able to nick you so that uh, I guess so this must be it right here what they talked about is that there's sensors so these two metal sensors here must conduct when it's in the water. So basically, this thing is not supposed to operate unless it is in the water. So cool little safety feature built in uh, for the young ones. So we have a remote. I'll switch. Huh. I wonder how sensitive that is if you turn it a little bit will it more or does it only go when it clicks of course we got forward and backwards uh, remote feels a little bit on um, kinda like the flimsy side somewhat Just, it doesn't feel like it's very heavy plastic unlike the uh, actual jet ski itself feels really good oh yeah and there's a light right here so you can see it now what this thing's supposed to do is when the battery runs low, which from what I understand is a 20 minute run time, when the battery runs low you're supposed to get like a warning light on here. I think it's supposed to also go for uh, if it gets out of range. So we're going to test all this stuff, see what happens when it runs out of range and everything else. So we have a little parts bag here. Okay, so we got a battery. We have a uh, USB charger, so they don't give you anything to plug into the wall. So they recommend plugging into your computer. I use like a cell phone charger, it's been fine. And from past experience, they usually come with two batteries, so the other one's probably in there. We got a screwdriver. And... Not happy, happy. Customer service team will work hard to put a smile back on your face. Here's how you can contact us. So you share your experience by emailing us on Amazon. So there you go. They give you contact information. Adhere to your charging cable. Make sure the entire... Okay, got the running label and this fell off. So this talks about how to get to the battery so we have a switch here and then the picture says up and back okay all right it's picking up a little bit Ooh. Ooh. wow <laughs> sound like I broke it yeah, so here's your second battery. So there is 
two motors right there. Yeah, there's your two screw the two water sensors. And then some electronics. So we've got a rubber seal all the way around here. Alright, so uh, I'm going to put these on the charge. And then we're going to open this up and see what this needs. It does not come with batteries for the remote. And like last time, uh, I lost that screw. So on these, unfortunately, the screws will come out. But they do make it to where you really don't need the screw. It's just an additional safety. So you still have to push. Okay, so two double A's. That's not bad. Two double A's. All right. Let's go ahead and get this charged. And first, I'm going to give it a test in a little doggy pool I have in the backyard. And, before, and then we'll take it out to a, a bigger stream. I want to test it. Uh, we're in a confined environment before I go put it in the stream and uh, lose it. So, all right, let's charge it up and I'll meet you outside. I will say uh, it is a little bit easier to go ahead and plug in the battery and then insert it into the watercraft and then make sure you you latch this thing because you want to make sure this is all dry. So there is no on-off switch on the actual watercraft. It must just use those two sensors now. So we do have one here on the remote and. As advertised, it does not come on. So it's a. Uh, and it still does not come on. Oh, wait! Excuse the uh, water. Like I said, the dogs jump in and out of here, so. <laughs> Seem to be having a problem with reverse. Is kind of intermittent. Hmm. See, I'm having a problem with the whole thing being intermittent. Hmm. That's well. That's not good. Well, I definitely can't take this out to a uh, river and test it. So check it out, if you hold, all you have to do is turn the wheel on it. Okay, so you can. cool I didn't even think I'd be able to use this thing at all inside this little tiny pool but it's maneuverable enough so yeah you can have fun in here look at this you can just zigzag little bit of a range test. I know from when I did my permit that the corner of the house to right here where my garage is was 120 feet. I know you really whoa, I almost lost my camera. I know you really can't see it but I don't want to put a telephoto lens on here and you'll lose the effect but it's uh, moving in the pool. Hopefully you can see it. 
We have to tell you my word. I mean, I got a steady green light. So we saw earlier that when it's not connected, the light blinks green. So that's pretty good. So far, we're at 120 feet. I'm going to try to walk around the front of the house and see where I do actually, if I do lose signal. Well, you will lose signal at some point. It's inevitable. But I'm just kind of curious if you're going to get a warning or something. So, All right. I started uh, walking to the front yard, and now it's starting to blink green. Like I said, I'm in the front. So we're going to do a simulated uh, loss of signal by turning off the remote. And it just goes off. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's try it again. So if it loses signal, it'll stop. Hopefully it'll drift back to you, or you could run towards it and try to get some kind of signal. But, you know, just try to be mindful and keep it close to you. Always look at the remote, too. Try to keep it somewhere in your line of sight so you can see that uh, that light starts to blink. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Alright, next we're going to go take it out to the river and give it a shot out there and see what it does like in some real water. All right, as you can see here, we are at the beach. We're gonna give the little jet ski here the ultimate test in the real Gulf of Mexico out here on the beautiful Florida beaches. So if you're on vacation, you wanna bring it, we're gonna go ahead and let you know how it does out here in the, the beaches. Real test right here, no more kiddie pool. there you have it man it's out here in the Gulf of Mexico it's a pretty breezy day and it's doing pretty good you know it's not the most powerful thing this definitely really isn't an adult toy for me I'd probably I would love to have something going faster 40 50 miles an hour in the water that would be fun but then again at the price point this is around like $40 uh, this is designed for children hence all the safety features of it not working out of water so you got to look at it for what it is would I buy this? Yeah, I would recommend it. This is a great little toy. Uh, the little glitch I had in the beginning, uh, maybe it was just something on the sensors, or it might have been something in that pool. It's fairly dirty, but I haven't had any problems out here in the water. Uh, I've tried it again afterwards. I didn't videotape it. Um, put it back in the pool. I haven't had any uh, issues with it. So I think it's a pretty, pretty fun little thing. If you got children in that, they're absolutely going to love this. Just be mindful that, you know, it's not like a more higher end remote control vehicle that has a lot more range like if you watch my drone video oh no not even that one i got some uh, remote control cars i had as a kid and they, they got some pretty good range but they also have really long antennas and stuff and they were several hundred dollars they definitely weren't forty dollars so yeah i would recommend it uh, i'll have a link in my amazon store down below look under reviews in that tab and that'll be there i greatly appreciate if you would buy using that tab i get a small commission for driving you there and uh, it adds nothing to your cost so uh, yeah fun little toy fun even if you're an adult this can be fun maybe you just want to play in your backyard pool or do whatever it's pretty cool definitely got some looks from people checking out the uh little jet ski going around the water so thanks for watching like shares comments appreciate it. please go ahead and subscribe help this veteran grow his channel and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.